Okay, types of passing. I really wanted to get into this because you commonly hear from people, well, let's do a passing session. And I'm always thinking, well, that's madness. There's so many variances of passing, not to mention the other attributes needed to be a fantastic passer of the ball. So I wanted to kind of relay um, some of the passing variances and let's see if we can work on those in 2020, right? So the first one is a basic push, a push pass, a direct pass, what I would just call a fundamental normal pass. You pass the ball from yourself to another player over a smaller distance with the instep of your foot. Can we obviously look to retain possession? But for the most part, a basic instep pass is what we want to work on for number one, okay? That's the obvious one. Number two would be a chip pass. Now a chip pass, <clears throat> excuse me, would be like in golf, same thing, coming underneath the ball, perhaps you're looking to lift it over a singular player, maybe that's a left back chipping it over the right midfielder to the left winger, something like that. A basic single chip pass would be the second one on the list, maybe that's a focus on a shorter range. The extension of a chip pass would be a lofted chip pass which covers a bigger distance, so maybe you're on the halfway line and you're looking to loft it in behind the defense to your on-running uh, striker. That would be a variance of a chip pass because now that's technically a chip through ball pass, okay? The reverse of that would be a flat on the ground through ball pass. That's when you're looking to split the defense, perhaps you're putting whip on it behind the defense, or you're simply playing through center backs that might be too far apart to your on-running striker, or to your winger if you're playing the ball out wide. So those are the first um, kind of types of passing that you wanna focus on. The next one is something that is quite fun to do. If you can keep working on this around the field, you're looking at give and go passes, give and go or a one, two, that's the same thing. You pass it into somebody, you move forwards, they give it back to you. It can be two touch, it can be one touch, but the intention is to keep the ball moving forward down the field. If you can't, of course, retain possession, pass back, sideways, start again. But the intention is a give and go, is to remove the oncoming defender, give the ball behind them, move forward and get it back. A variance of that will be a triangle pass. Now you're doing a give and go, but you're in a three, the shape of a triangle. Now, if you don't know this, soccer is effectively played in triangles, of course, down the field, and you're simply moving in triangles and you're filling in new space, having a look, where's the space, move into it, pass forward, have a look, like other guys move forward, pass forward, new space, repeat, repeat, repeat. So those are the basic types of passes. Now there's of course other variations of it, but effectively you're looking at on the ground um, to a direct pass, nothing too complicated, a lofted pass, and then you've got a lofted pass through, def uh, through defenders or through midfielders and then a ball on the ground through. So it's about the intention of the pass really. Is it to retain possession or are we looking to cut through the team with a kind of um, focus on trying to score a goal? So those are my basic types of passing. So if you hear, let's go outside and practice passing, now you can actually say what kind of a pass are we looking to do? Okay, there's extra ones like outside of the foot passing and stuff like that, but for right now, let's talk about foundational passing. If you have any questions on that, please uh, ask below. I'll do another video on the technique of passing, but this question that was given to me was just about the variances and the types of passes rather than how to do them. That's a little bit trickier to do over a camera without showing you, so thanks for watching. Um, Coach Adam, please like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube and if you're on Instagram TV, same thing, but please jump across to our YouTube and let me know what you think. These videos are for you guys.